Hello everyone, good morning. I hope you guys can't hear the wind sounds outside because it's like whooshing around, I don't know why, but hello, welcome to the vlog. Today is Friday and we're just doing a little daily vlog because why not? I just got back from being at home for Thanksgiving, no vlogs there, sorry, but when I go back for winter break, I'm really excited because we're in the middle of finals week right now. I'm like really struggling. If you guys saw my last video, I made these little guys and they're very cute, but I made a couple of these. I'm doing another project today later based off this, but first I have class, so I have to do that. So I've just been sitting here getting ready. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do, but I think we're just gonna see what we can get done today. It's Friday and it's actually really nice outside, which is surprising for Providence because usually at this time is when it starts like snowing. So uh, we'll see how long that can last. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Also, oh my God, this is so heavy. In one of my last videos, I showed you guys the tiles that I made for my ceramic class and some of you really enjoyed like the clinking sounds that they make on the ground when I was organizing them and I have to do that again today so I figured I'd do that with you guys because you know we'll have a little, little ASMR moment because that's always fun and so yeah I'm getting ready to do my class and then we're going to have the rest of the day free so my class on Fridays is online it's my ceramic topics class Class, so I made all of these glazes and we basically just make glazes all the time Also, I didn't realize we had a five-page essay due today until yesterday So I wrote it all yesterday and I'm honestly pretty fast with writing So it wasn't like that hard for me, but I cranked it out and so I got that done I've done so much work in the past few days because it's final season like I said and I also am working really hard on editing mm life is so hard so you guys will see my book project that is coming out soon but today we're gonna also do like probably not the best project um i just have to like do a project so we'll see how that goes too a lot of things are happening today but first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna sort these babies because i really need to for my assignment so yeah let's let's get to that first so we're gonna go to the ground again if you guys remember we were sitting on the floor <laughs> hello so welcome to the floor we have a lot of clinking sounds. So if you guys didn't watch the last vlog where I did this, we have to make these tiles prior. And this was my final. It's just a bunch of different colorants. And there's like, I think over 80 tiles in here. These are all, each of these is one glaze that I mixed by hand individually to create this and it was very exhausting because it's just a bunch of powder and water that you mix together but i had to do each of them individually so if you can just like fathom the amount of work that is that'd be great because i don't know how to explain it to you so i guess we'll start the morning off with a little little asmr moment which is always fun so yeah i'm gonna lay these all on the ground and we're going to listen to the clinky sounds cute tiffany wang's asmr track Alrighty, so step one was just finding all their numbers. Step two is putting them in the right position and then flipping them upside down. As you can see, some of these are like really strange because they started crawling a lot, which is what I wrote my research paper on yesterday. So, but not all of them crawl, obviously, but some of them have like a tendency to want to start crawling. I don't know what's going on here. We're gonna put them in the right orders now. So now we're just gonna flip them over like this. Make sure the oxidation is on top like this and then we go down the line. Oh my God, this one's weird. <laughs> and we do all of them like that. And this is low key, like really satisfying. This one's broken for some godforsaken reason. It uh, looks like it all came off the tile though. So looks like there wasn't much there anyway. Click, click. This really do be my life. Friday mornings, flipping over tiles. Okay, so that's a row of 10, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then we're gonna start another row. I have like a pyramid formation I need to put them in too, but I think for now, like this one's crawling. You can see it's doing something weird, but I think I'm just gonna put them in groups of 10 first. 18, 
19 reduction and 20 like that okay new section 25 is also broken in half but this one isn't fused together so that is better news i suppose okay and then we scoop down here to do the rest the sixth one we did it <laughs> wow this is so aesthetic some of these like this section i really like because they're all really pretty somehow like this one's kind of ugh, i hate brown and blue together and then these ones are also just like but this specific section something about her she's very pretty i don't know how i don't know why but i love them but i'm gonna take some pics now and then we'll have to edit them later all right so here's another formation i have to do where i just take them like this and then i make a little pyramid out of them so now i have to do this and hopefully i don't run out of space in my room because there are over 60 tiles here like i'm already foreseeing an issue here but it is what it is you know but that's okay we're just gonna do our best wow here they all are amazing all right let me take my good pictures all right I think I'm pretty much done here on the ground. So now it's time to export these photos onto my iPad and now we're going to draw and label them. Hooray, love school. My hair is so like puffy today. Now the hard part is over because I just have to take those pictures. So now I just have to format them into a PowerPoint and then we're good to go. So let me get my laptop. Have my, whoa, I almost dropped it. My trusty laptop. And we're going to format these pictures. I also need my iPad, which is somewhere. But first I'm not wearing any earrings. I'm getting ready for my online class. So of course I have to accessorize with Ana Luisa jewelry. They are so kind as to send me more of these little items because I am an Ana Luisa ambassador. So feel free to use my code for anything you want on Anna Louise's website and everything will be linked down below for you guys. Why is my hair doing that? But I'm really excited for this month's jewelry because I got these little heart earrings and they are so, so cute because they match this heart necklace that I've had from them for a while. And I didn't know these were going to be this like delicate and small, which is a good thing because I thought on the website they looked a little bit different, but I think that was just the web uh, tricking me. <gasps> that's so cute i've had some friends wear like some chunky gold hoops lately this winter and i really wanted them myself because i just think that's like such a cute look so very excited to get these this is the look i've been wanting so oh my god those are so cute and they match this i haven't had like a matching set ever i think so i'm really excited to be having one and they also sent me this beautiful necklace which is really cute and good for stacking because i love stacking their jewelry if you guys haven't noticed so i'm gonna to just try this on for today and this is just like a really pretty necklace i don't wear delicate necklaces too often but i just think like this square is so pretty and i think it's just enough it's like very minimal and i think it looks really really nice so you could definitely like stack these if you wanted to as you can see you can make it shorter so you can like stack your jewelry with it which oh my god that is so cute i love having cute jewelry and lastly they sent me these little studs which are also just always really really nice these are just like some basic white looking studs so i'm gonna put these in also i'm thinking about getting another ear piercing soon but i'm not really set on which one so comment down below if there's one you think i should get these heart earrings are literally gonna be like my favorite earrings for december because they're they're so cute. Now we have my cartilage one and my conch. I didn't put in a triple just because, I don't know. I've been giving my ears a little bit of a break from wearing too much jewelry, so yeah. But this is the, the look today. I think they're so cute. So check out Ana Luisa. They have a lot of sales going on right now. You can use my code as always. And they have a lot of cute sustainable jewelry and I love all of it. So use my code if you guys want to. It's Tiffany10 for $10 off your first purchase. But let's go ahead and edit these photos while I'm still here. Ding ding. The other day, I was in my class and I thought I forgot my Apple Pencil and I couldn't do my work, but turns out I could have, so I was just lying to myself. But I'm gonna go ahead and export these photos onto my iPad so I can label them for my PowerPoint. Okay, so I need to pull up my info for this glaze lab so I can properly label everything. It is currently 12 o'clock, so I have an hour to make this presentation, which is more than enough time, I think. So I pulled up my pick um there's a lot going on here but we're just going to add another layer okay so i'm just gonna go in and write the info that i need which isn't much 
So these were all the ingredients that were in these and basically we did like a combination of all of them which is why they're in this format. But I actually finished this earlier than I had to so I've had this assignment done for a couple weeks now and I just haven't gotten around to labeling it. Okay, so now I'm going to format my PowerPoint really, really quick. I can't imagine this taking that long, so file, new presentation. Since like all my slides are basically just these photos, it's going to take me super fast. Also, do you guys hear the wind outside? That is the sound of the wind and it is very loud. I cannot wait for final season to be over because I am exhausted by this. And I'm done with my PowerPoint, so now I'm just going to submit it and I'm done, hooray. Here's my beautiful presentation. I've made like six presentations in the past three days, not actually, but do you guys wanna see my other ones? I made this one on the turtle sandbox, which is for my research project for one of my classes. And I also made this one on my project for my science class. And I wrote a 10 page paper essay on this as well. So this has been fun guys. This final season has been fun. Lots of presentations. So this will be my third presentation of the week. And also here are my papers that I wrote. This one's for the class I'm about to take right now, five pages. And then this was for my science class, which is 10 pages with footnotes, baby. Love that. Woohoo. I actually wrote it it to be 11 pages and my bibliography is the 12th page because I am an overachiever and I get major anxiety from <laughs> grades. But yep, now we're going to take this class. It's all online so I just have to zoom in and I'm going to be doing some editing while in this class and just general school stuff because I have a lot to do. But yes, that's the plans for today. I think after class, I need to do one of my assignments. I need to make another book for my book project and then I'm maybe gonna go get groceries. I might just go outside for a walk because it looks kind of nice outside. The other day it was 60 degrees which was wild because the day before it snowed so I don't really know what's happening with RISD. And the weather but i can't really do anything about that so yeah just gonna try to get some work done while in my class but let's go over um some of the details of things to talk about uh because of course this is rounding the end now most people have gotten me their report uh we will not be having a final exam because you all got the testing done uh previously so you are free on that end so since my class is online, I can do some things while I'm in class. So right now I'm making some eggs because I'm a bit hungry. So I'm just gonna cook up some eggs real quick. And I'm just listening to my class in the background. And then I'm also going to be just checking some of my business emails, which is what I also do during this time. So I just like do some things while listening to my class because I normally just listen to things anyways. So here I am eating, munching, checking business emails. I have way too many of them right now, but you know, it's good. Everything's good. It's just final season on top of doing all of this is a lot, but that's okay. So he's just going to check my tiles. My professor is really kind about all this stuff and just informs us of everything that we did, like what it means and what this actually does. Because of course I'm not a ceramic major, so I don't really know, but I'm just listening along, trying to figure it out, you know, doing my best. And he actually pulled up one of my tiles from last week to like compare. So I was like, oh my gosh. He remembers, wow. Alrighty, so I'm still in my class finishing up. I'm just cleaning my room right now during class and I realized I don't know when my colors all went from pink to blue. Everything I own is blue all of a sudden. Like this is my favorite hoodie, right? This has been my favorite hoodie. And I'm sorry if you guys see me like wearing it so much in all my videos, but this is my favorite one. And then these are my shoes. Uh, these are from Lazy Oaf. I just got these while I was at home from a friend. And these are the obsidians that I've been wanting for literally so long. So I'm so happy to get these. And like everything's just blue. My wallet's blue too. I don't know how this happened. So yeah, that's beyond strange. But at this point, I only have one more week before I go home. My suitcase is also blue, but I only have one more week before I go home. So also, I really want to cut my bangs because as you can see, they're like a little bit too long and I normally cut them myself impulsively, but I have a hair appointment to get my roots done and everything. I'm refraining from doing that and trying to hold on for one more week. After my class, we're going to head out and do some activities. I'm excited. I hope it's not too cold outside. So here are my favorite shoes as of late. Just a random little shoe collection. I have these docks. I think these are the Molly docks. 
docks. I don't remember. They come with these ribbons and these are the first and only pair of docks I will probably ever own because they hurt so bad to break in, but I finally broke them in, kind of. They're pretty broken in, so they have like a two inch lift at the bottom. These are my obsidians. I love these. These are my new babies. I creased them already. I'm sorry to any sneakerheads who don't crease their shoes, but I buy shoes to wear them. These are my lazy oaf sandals and then my CDG Converse. I have two pairs and then I just like mix and match them and I actually want to wear the pairs by themselves now but the other of these shoes are at home so I'll have to bring them home. These are my favorite shoes of the season and I miss my Fila's a lot but they're at home so I'm gonna get back to those soon. Wow, I just officially finished my ceramic class so let's get ready to go out on an adventure on Friday. Wow! God, it's so cold I barely want to take my mask off but I am freezing right now. It's really cold out as you can tell, so I'll just update you guys when I'm inside somewhere. But we're going to <laughs> Serendipity. I normally go to Whole Foods, but we're going to Serendipity today because it is closer. I don't want to walk all the way to Whole Foods because it's like 30 degrees out today, so it's already cold. It's a miracle my hands are even holding a camera right now. I've almost made it to Serendipity. Time to buy a few groceries. They have so much stuff here today. They're not usually this like well stocked, so I'm very excited, but they have these buns that I love. So I'm gonna get these. I'm very excited. I am dying. Mm, my forehead itches. Why does this always happen when I wear a beanie? Uh, this is, I'm gonna show you real quick what college grocery shopping looks like because I went to the grocery store and I got these and I love these and they've had these out of stock for so long so I'm actually gonna eat one right now because I'm hungry and it's been a long, long time since I've had these because I love them. But like this place always like has weird stock issues so they never have it in stock, but they have it now. And then I wanted broccoli because broccoli is my favorite vegetable and they didn't have any broccoli and I was like I haven't eaten vegetables in like a week and I really need some before I like die so I went to the RISD cafeteria and for a meal swipe I got a whole entire bowl of broccoli because this way it's free you know um is it actually free no I literally use my money to buy dining points to do this but the amount of dining points to give you is like way too many so I need to use all of them and like it's nearing the end of the year so broccoli as a meal it is and honestly I should have been doing this the entire year so now I can cook this in like ramen or or when I make anything. Sometimes I just like eat broccoli cooked. I don't eat it raw because it's gross that way, sorry. I also got a banana. I got a brownie in here that I don't even entirely want, but like I'll have, I'll have a little bit of brownie. Um. I ran to the mail room real quick and this book that I bought came in the mail and I actually wasn't expecting to get this book for like another two weeks so I'm very happy but this is called Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me and it's just very pretty and I bought it mainly because I need references for my project and I'm really glad this actually came in before I finish my project because I'm doing an entire comic book so I can really use the advice for paneling. So I'm gonna get some inspo from here. This book is so pretty and I wanted to get the hardcover version. I think it's nicer that way. I have a couple of reference books now that I like. I like this one and then this one is my other favorite book and this is like my baby. I love this book with my entire body. This is the 90s to 2010s Hello Kitty Sanrio design catalog. So it has like a bunch of that stuff. So adding it to the catalog. I have two other books at home from a Japanese manga artist and he made some really cool books as well. So I need to get all of my references together because yeah, these are my two favorite books for now. I'm going to cook up one of these buns and store these broccolis and then I don't really know what else to do. I guess I should do some homework or maybe I'll do some editing. I don't know. So really quickly, I'm just microwaving one of these buns. They're literally so good and they sustain my life to be honest when I don't feel like cooking. And I'm just putting these broccolis in some Tupperware that I have so that I can save it for like a few days, you know? Um, I really love broccoli, so I'm very excited to have this back in my diet because I missed it. And now I got my bun and look how stupidly happy I look. Alrighty, so now I'm going to eat my little bun. Ow, that plate is really hot. I'm going to eat him, I'm going to munch him, and I'm going to start my assignment. So I have to do a book assignment. I think I'm just gonna do something anatomy related. I already have 
these little guys and I think I'm just gonna base the project off of them because these came out so well and it's like might as well also I'm really tired and I don't have the time to do a whole project because I still have to do my comic assignment so I'm gonna get started I have my paper and stuff I think I want to use this red paper because it is very pretty and I have a bunch of it so let's get started so I filmed just a little bit of this process to show you guys what I did. Also, I got a little snacky because snackies are very important. Please remember to fuel yourself while you work. But I wanted to make this. This was a very like on the whim decision because honestly, I don't have too much time to work on these projects right now. And this is actually my last official project to make before my final season so at this point i'm just working on my finals now so i really ran out of motivation to like work very hard on this project so i just did something really really simple and like minimalistic which is not my work normally but it was fun you know it was relaxing and so i cut out this little guy out of bookboard or in my case just the back of some pads of paper that i had because i don't buy bookboard because why would I do that when I go through a bajillion pads of paper a year? And so I always use the back of those, but I'm just cutting out this little guy. I'm making like a little anatomy flap book. Uh, it's supposed to be a star book. That's my assignment, but I didn't really want to do it to be honest. So I just kind of based it off of my last project that I did that you guys can watch a video that I made. It's just this little guy. It's the anatomy stuff. I, the last project that I made was also anatomy based, which is why I was excited to do this because I just decided to do like an add on to a past project I did instead of just doing a completely new one because that would be very exhausting for my brain and I'm already in finals mode so I can't really handle thinking about much else but I'm basically doing this paper mache type technique thing um, on the side of this book board just so that this part is gonna be exposed and I didn't want it to be like bookboard color so i decided to just cover it with some red little scraps of paper that i had and this was actually very tedious this took me like an hour and then the rest of the book took me probably an hour so if i could go back and do this a different way i definitely would why did it take me so long i don't know i guess just because there's so many different curved parts of this that like this was actually really frustrating and so i kind of wish i did think of a different way to cover this or like do something else but whatever what's done is done honestly if I could redo this, I would make this out of polymer clay as well so they all match. But anyway, I'm coloring on the little face now. I'm just using Posca markers because that's my go-to tool to use when I'm like frustrated and I don't want to put too much detail into a project. So this really allows me to be minimal with my stuff. And so now I'm just going to hot glue this stuff on. Hot glue with paper is a dangerous game. So satisfying when you can do it, right? So I'm just gluing on the front and back and I'm drawing on the knees and the elbows and stuff. So like similar to my other guy and I debated on doing either the pink skin or this cream color and I decided to do the cream color because I feel like the pink would be a lot so I'm just cutting out the book part for the inside I have these little flappies and I'm going to put little like inserts in them so it's a diorama type thing which I did for a previous project and a star book is basically just like a bunch of those together but yeah I filled it with anatomy stuff and I just pretty much finished it up like that hello little guy okay so here it is I did the rest off camera because one it was kind of stressing me out but two it just went by like really fast like this was a very easy project to do so i just did it off camera but here it is open he looks pretty cool open looks not as cool closed but when i close him he likes to open anyway so all is good with the world it's so like super simple but i didn't really have a lot of time to work on this because i'm in the middle of finals right now so i have it so it's like half a starbook as you can see, based off of these little babies, which have been hanging out with me at my desk. I made these in my last video if you guys want to go watch it. But here are the rejects. I don't know like what came about me towards the end because this final cardiovascular page, I messed up like so many times. This one actually also messed up. So let me walk you through what happened, right? All of these consist of two pieces. There's the base piece and then there's the top piece, obviously. And what happened was I cut one of them, but this is too long. This is not the length of these top pieces so that one was messed up and then i cut this one which i wasn't supposed to cut these out and this was supposed to be on the top piece but i drew it on the bottom piece so this one was also wrong and then this one i actually had it like half an inch too long on both sides but i just cut it because i actually ran out of the red paper but this is how it turned out and i've been tying it with a ribbon it's not the best but you know this is just like what happens when you have a product to do and you have no time to work on it so 
yeah, that's what came about him. He's cute, I guess. I like how he opens up on his own. He's very, very much eager to show you what's inside of his body. But yeah, we have the muscles, skeletal system, and some organs because I didn't know what to put back there. And then the cardiovascular system and there's like his little backbone in there if you want to see that. That's done one project down, so... Hooray. Okay, so I finished. It looks like this. I think it's pretty cute. As you can see, it's like not the best quality, but he likes to open thinking. So I think, I mean, I didn't really intend for that to happen, but like totally works. And then it makes this look really cool and nice. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this in because I don't have time to make anything else. I just had to get it done, you know? But I'm, I'm glad to get it done because now I'm relieved and I can do other things um, with my day. And so I'm probably gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. Maybe I'll go out tonight, I'm not sure. We will find out then, but I'm gonna go relax a bit because I'm tired from making this guy. Okay, um, I just did some editing, but it just like dawned on me that I'm literally done with my ceramic class. Like I wasn't really paying attention to my schedule because I've been so busy, but I'm literally done. But I have all of the, oh my God, this is so heavy. I have so many tiles. I don't even know what to do with them. I'm probably gonna throw them away because like I have nothing to do with them. Do you guys wanna see some of the cool ones? Wow, that one's white and it's crawling. Um, This one's blue. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I have so many of them. It's like astronomical. It's, oh God, it's actually so overwhelming. I don't know. Oh my God, I almost dropped the whole thing. If you want a tile, enter the giveaway down below. Just kidding, we're not doing a, a giveaway of these tiles. Could you imagine if I like sent people one single ceramic tile and I'm like, for you, a gift. No, I'm just looking through them and I'm like, I wonder if there's any even cool ones. This one like bubbled. This class was very strange, but it was interesting. I started off caring a lot about what each individual tile looked like and then the farther along I got the more I just didn't care Also, by the way when they do this, this is not my fault. I never did anything wrong It literally just like does that because of just the way the glazes are but I have some cool ones in here So maybe I'll try to fish those out and show you guys. Yeah, I literally finished this class I'm done with this class for the semester So what I have left is my book class that you guys have seen most of my projects for I've been making projects for that class my story class which will be in a upcoming video because that is gonna be my last final and it basically is my only final left because I don't have any other finals because I finished the one for my book and I finished this class and I finished one out of the two liberals that I have so all I have left is to write an essay and finish my comic book Oh, wow, I just felt all the weight like shift off my shoulders because it's been very stressful that I've had so much work to do. Well, I'm pleased. I feel like the end of the semester is always like kind of anticlimactic because when things end, I don't really celebrate things ending. I just go on to finish whatever I have to do next because I have so much work to do, but yeah feels good to be done yes so here are all of the ones that i thought looked nice but when they're all like sitting like this they don't here are all the pink ones i have a bunch of pink ones because my original glaze is actually supposed to be pink and so here are some of the variants that ended up pink still and i think these are all really cute and pretty here are the white and cream ones i just think these like look really nice and aesthetic and some of them feel really good and so like these ones are crawling glazes and they look like this because of the ingredients and I wrote my paper on this. But yeah, I have some pretty blue ones here and a banana, lol. But I have some pretty blue ones here and they look, I kind of liked, I grew to like these. I like this one a lot actually. I think this is like a really pretty periwinkle color and it has like some little crackles in it. Um, this is just like a nice little gray color. And this one reminds me of red bean ice cream. Am I wrong for that? I don't know. I don't know why there's black specks in there. Some of these things are probably just from me not mixing things well because I'm not a ceramic major. And some of them might just be from the glaze. I don't know. I tried my best to understand this class, but of course I didn't learn everything there is to learn. I'm going to actually sort out like my favorite favorite ones now because I just thought these were nice. And then the bucket I have is just like all the rest of them. As you can see, it's sitting on the ground embarrassingly because those are all the ugly ones. If I had to pick out, I feel like this pink one is nice. I don't know. The pink ones are all quite similar. This one's nice. I'll keep out some of the pink ones just for a nice little palette, you know? Like the pink ones do end up just being kind of dull though. Just not my, my fave. I'm imagining if I was putting together like a little ceramic 
tile aesthetic set. I don't know. Because I'm going to throw these away. Like, I have no use for them after. So this is the last time I'll pretty much ever be seeing them. But I think this looks pretty. Oh, I need one more. We have space for one more. Wow. Who is the lucky contestant to be picked? Maybe I'll pick another white one. Wow. This is pretty. Okay. I found the prettiest ones. If I were to have an ideal sample set of tiles. Okay, right? Like, I think this is definitely the prettiest set. We have this white one, which is crawling. This pink, a little satin finish, blue one. So other blue one, a little white one. And then over here, we have like a speckled one. I really, like, I would never want Want this on anything honestly but i love the way it looks with everything else we have a little teal one here yeah i just think these ones look the nicest i might keep these ones that i picked out here just because i think they look nice i really have no use for them so yep this was this was fun thanks ceramics <laughs> apparently this box doesn't even fit all of them because i still have those ones but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with these guys but they're very very pretty <laughs> Woohoo! goodbye little tiles it was nice knowing you Alrighty, so I've been laying in bed editing for the past few minutes. It's probably been like an hour or two. Um, it's finally setting in that I actually completed a class and like I want to celebrate. So me and my friends are going to go up to Thayer and we're going to get some dinner and some food and maybe some ice cream. I want ice cream, but it's so cold outside. So probably not ice cream. I think because I finished this final actually like weeks ago in advance, it just feels kind of weird. Like it doesn't feel like I really accomplished anything, but I did. So we're going to go and celebrate up at there so i'm gonna get dressed for the cold weather and we're gonna go yes okay i'm all dressed very excited mostly probably just because i'm hungry and i haven't eaten but let's go get dinner woo celebration so i went out for some boba and i also got dinner at bajas which is just like this mexican place and they have basically like chipotle food but that's what i did for the rest of the night and now i'm home and it is time for me to retire i am very replenished so that was a good little break that i had but i will see you guys in the next vlog so thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out remember to check out anna luisa for earrings if you guys want to do them or necklaces or really anything i love their jewelry they're doing a holiday sale right now so make sure you guys check them out i will see you guys in the next video so stay hydrated take a nap i will see you guys when i see you guys bye and don't stress out over finals too much please